Hey everyone, welcome to your Tabata Superset class. No equipment needed today, it is all body weight. And while it is total body, there's definitely more of an emphasis on lower body. In each of the three Tabata supersets, I'm gonna give you two exercises and you alternate between them using an interval structure of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for eight sets. So that's four minutes of interval work. You'll then rest for a minute and I'll give you a new set of exercises for your next Tabata superset. Today we are just doing three Tabata supersets, so it's a quick one. If you want access to a longer version of this, it is six supersets, all different exercises. That is available on Patreon. All the information you need about joining Patreon is at patreon.com slash Nicole Pierce. We're gonna start with a quick warm up focused on mobility and bringing the heart rate up gradually, and then we'll finish up with a quick guided cool down and let's get right into that warm up. So let's start standing, arms reach out, palms forward, and I want you to start tracing little arm circles, doesn't matter the direction, because we'll switch. And as you trace these little circles, I want them to gradually get bigger and bigger, and as they get bigger, the arms start to come in front of your body and then out to the side. By now, you should be in your biggest range of motion, making sure that when the arms go overhead, you're not puffing open through the rib cage. Two more and then come back to shoulder height and you're just gonna reverse the direction, start small, and then just gradually make it a little bigger, little bigger, arms start to sweep in front of the body and then out to the sides, mobilizing through that shoulder joint. We're gonna come into a hip hinge next, but we will keep adding in some upper body. Arms are overhead in three, two, one. So arms are overhead, palms face forward. Now, as you do a hip hinge, hips slide back, you're gonna sweep your arms back, open through the chest, reach your tailbone long, come upright, arms overhead. We're gonna hold the hinge, just the arms will sweep in three, two, one. Hold that hinge, just the arms up and down. Arms will get to chill out in a second. We'll focus more on hips. It's gonna be a squat to a forward fold in three, two, one. Forward fold, you might need to separate your feet a little wider and you're just gonna bend into the knees, dropping into your squat and then straightening the legs coming into your fold. Opening up through the backs of the legs and the hips. We're gonna come into a hip circle, into a back lunge. One more squat and then stand it up. Now we'll start with the left knee. I want you to bring it up to hip height then I want you to hinge it open and continue to circle it open and back bending into your front right knee, coming into a low lunge, same side, stand up, knee lifts, big hip circle open, step it back, twice more this side. And then just take it over to the right, lift the knee up, open it up, circle it back, land in that low lunge. Last time. And then standing up, let's come into butt kickers. So some light cardio. Run it out. If you don't want, if you want to make it lower impact, just march in place. Two moves, we'll alternate between them three times. Second move, just good old jumping jacks, keeping it pretty simple. In three, two, one, jumping jacks. Back to butt kickers in three, two, one, run it out. Jumping jacks in three, two, one. And if you want lower impact, you can always step, step instead. One more time through the two, butt kickers in three, two, one. And because I always get asked when I wear this shirt, no, I did not go to Michigan. My friend went to grad school there. Jumping jacks in three, two, one. And we went for a football game, so I had to get a shirt to tailgate in. <laughs> but I did not go there. All right, we're gonna finish up this warm up with world's greatest stretch in three, two, one. Fold forward, hands to the mat. Walk yourself out into a plank. Left foot steps to the outside of the left hand. Left arm twists open. Hand comes back to the mat. Step your foot back here in a plank, other side. Right foot, twist it open. Step it back, keep alternating. Ooh. 
One more time each side. And hold your plank, hips up, pedal out the heels. And then when you're ready, walk your hands in towards your feet. Roll it up to stand, and I'm gonna show you our first superset. First up, it's a lunge drop. So you're on the balls of your feet, they just kind of hop and center, and then you drop into that low lunge. Hop and center, and then drop other side. Second exercise is a jump squat with a cross body kick. So you're just gonna bend the knee, opposite hand taps that foot behind you. If you wanna modify at any point, I will have low impact modifications playing in one of the corners of the screen. All right, let's go. Drop lunge is coming up and you just alternate which foot is forward, which foot is back. Lunge, hop center, drop low. I want you getting low in the lunge. I don't want you to bang your back knee on the floor, but I do want it coming close to tapping it. Rest, okay. Squat jump, little kick. Jump, kick. Don't worry if your hand is actually touching the foot. If it's not happening for you, don't worry. When you do the kick, don't come all the way to a straight leg on your stationary side. Rest. Lunge drop. Rest. Squat, jump, kick. Halfway there. Lunge drop, hop, drop. Rest, <laughs> awkward little shuffle. So when you do the squat jump, you'll notice my feet are wide. So it's a wide squat. Rest, final set. Rest, now 20 seconds. You got a full minute to recover on the other side. Go. Done. Okay, you have a minute to catch your breath. Grab a drink of water. I'll show you our next two exercises. First up, it's gonna be a donkey kick to a kick through. Now, for the sake of space, I'm gonna do the kick through to the same side the whole 20 seconds, 
And then the next time we do the exercise, I'll just switch which side the kick through is. You could do the same, or if you want to alternate your kick through the whole 20 seconds, up to you. Second move is a burpee variation. At the bottom, you're going to do a plank knee tuck. So the knees pull in and then you shoot them back, landing back in your plank position. If you wanna just give me a regular burpee instead, if that knee tuck isn't working for you, go for it. Modifications will be playing, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, let's do it. So we'll start in that bare plank position, spread out through your fingers, knees under hips, tuck your toes under, knees will come to a hover. One donkey kick, one kick through. I'm doing my kick through to the same side every time for this first round. All right, let's go. When you do the kick through, don't rest your bum on the mat. Bring it to a hover. Rest. All right, burpee with that plank knee tuck at the bottom. rest. Okay, so donkey kick, but this time kick through is the other leg. So I'm just facing the other direction. Let's go. Rest. Burpee with the plank knee tuck. Rest. Donkey kick, kick through. Switch the kick through. Rest. Burpee up next. Let's go. Rest. Okay, final set coming up. Donkey kick. Rest. Okay, final 20 seconds, we got this. Burpee tuck jumps. And done, Whew. awesome work, okay. One more set to get through. I'm gonna show you our final two exercises. First up, calf hop. So you're on the balls of your feet and you press off the balls of your feet. Now, when you're in the air, yes, your legs are gonna be straight, but I need you to make sure that when you land, you're landing with a soft knee, okay? So don't land with your knee locked out. Knees are bent at the bottom, but your heels stay lifted. And then you push off from there. 
big core challenge as well. Elbows wide, brace the abdominal wall the whole time. Second exercise, it's a squat jack. Feet go out, in, and then it's a star sweep jump. So legs and arms sweep out wide, land low. One jack, one sweep. All right, final Tabata to get through, and then we cool down. So elbows wide, but you can see them in your peripheral vision. Bracing through the abdominal walls, so don't puff open through your rib cage. You're gonna be on the balls of your feet, little calf hops. Remember, knees are bent at the bottom. Let's go. Really try to get some air. Rest, squat jack, sweep jump. Start with feet narrow, go out in, then jump. Rest. First set done. Calf hops. Let's go. Really try to make these explosive. And then if you can add in a little speed, make it a little quicker. Rest. Squat jack, sweep jump. Let's go. And just like that, halfway there. Two minutes left. Let's do it, then we cool down. Calf hops. Rest. Let's go. One jack, one jump. Rest. One more time each exercise. Final 20 seconds. Let's go. And done. Whew. Awesome work. Take a second to catch your breath. I'm gonna bring you through a quick cool down. We can start with just a standing quad stretch. Shift your weight into your left foot. Bend your right knee, grab the foot in your hand. Pull the heel in towards your bum. And then bring your pelvis to neutral. So almost think of slightly drawing up through the lower abdominals. Just so you really feel that stretch through the top of the thigh.
Shake it out, switch sides. From here, release the foot, nice wide stance. And I just want you to forward fold. You can grab opposite elbow with opposite hand like a rag doll. And then from here, just a gentle sway side to side for a little bit of release. If it feels good, you could bend into one knee at a time as you sway to that side. Think of releasing tension in your head, neck, and shoulders. Settling in the center when you're ready. Plant your right hand down in the middle and then left arm is gonna sweep open into a twist. Maybe you stay here if you'd like to though, you can bend that left elbow and bring the hand behind your back. And let's bring it through center, other side. Left hand plants in the middle, right arm twists open. Option to bend the elbow and bring the hand behind your back. Both hands through center. And then I want you to walk your hands over to the left. Grab the outside of that ankle or shin. And then over the other side. Coming through center, let's heel toe our feet in together. You're gonna roll up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms are gonna sweep up overhead as you do. Big inhale, exhale, lower the arms. And that is your class. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts for free here every Monday, but in January, I'm doing two or even three videos a week, so you don't wanna miss that. And if you want access to even more classes, you can become a Patreon member. All the information you need about joining is at patreon.com slash Nicole Pierce. So appreciative of your support, whether it's on Patreon or just showing me some love on YouTube. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>